Should be a fun day of hauling manure today. Good. Turn the heat on to max. Hopefully that'll melt the snow off these windows. <laughs> different day of hauling that's for sure I've never started one like this with the loader covered and the wagon covered so just unique circumstances that's gonna allow us to keep hauling just because we're not hauling on the road we can just stockpile it behind the yard don't need to worry about dragging manure and mud on the road fed is just cleaning the snow off of the windows We'll head to the grill. We put bedding in yesterday afternoon, but we're gonna have to be doing it pretty soon here again, just cause everybody is standing. But our plan kinda worked out. So yesterday me and dad were putting bedding in the corrals. I was pretty much done this corral. So we put a massive bed pack in here and these two corrals are split. We didn't put any bedding in here and they're already all over there except for two. So we're gonna go grab those two heifers there, chase them over and we'll start cleaning this curl out. Come on. Yep, hey ya. It's always a good idea to follow the animals through the muck, because they always know what the most shallow point is to go from bed to feed, feed bunk. We're definitely making progress on the water that's in here. Just scooping it into the pack, it's already gone down. But now I see it's just flowing in from the corral next to it, which has a massive puddle too. It's gonna take a long time to clear it out. So right now the way we're loading the wagon, it's just staying in the feed alley there. There's a lip after the uh, concrete edge here. It just falls off. So I picked up some gravel, we're gonna put it there, try and get a bit of a ramp going so that it's not as tippy.
I just went for my lunch break. We're gonna get going in the corrals again for this afternoon, but our feeder came to me, said he smashed the door in the wind of the New Holland loader. Now this is pretty bad, but I've done it before, so I can't fault him. I know, I understand exactly how it happens. You open the door, the wind catches the door, it swings around, just shatters the glass. And uh, I've done it once, another guy has done it on our farm, so this is, it's for sure the third or fourth time that one of these loader doors has been smashed in the wind. Um, it seems like there's only one way to learn how to hold it in the wind, and that's to smash the door. It's unfortunate. Like I say, I've done it, so you can't fault the guy for doing it. It's completely understandable. I mean, obviously you should be holding the door, but like, you, it comes out of nowhere and you just don't expect it, so. We got glass on the ground. And then here, this, uh, it's all tempered, so it's not gonna cut you, but. Really unfortunate. We were just about ready to go. I had a bucket of manure in the loader ready to throw into that wagon. Fetter was back from lunch too. And then he called me and said he has a flat tire on the tractor. One of the duels is flat. So we'll see what that's about. Shoot. So I just had to go and help out our feeder there. The snow on the concrete apron behind our pack barn. And so the snow, it's weird. It's so thick and heavy and it's kind of wet when it's falling and it just kind of got compacted there and he had zero traction. Even me with the loader when I first started pulling him, almost like zero traction, you just slide, it's unreal. And um, usually you can like do a burnout on the snow, melt the snow, get down to the concrete and then you're golden, but not even there. So, had to yank him with the rope, cleared the concrete from the snow, and uh, yeah, got that going again. This little snowstorm's kind of kicking our butts, I'm not gonna lie. Broken broken glass in the door, fed her backed up into that concrete curb. It's obviously a result of low visibility. And then this, it's getting randomly stuck in a nice concrete apron. What is going on, man? I don't even think the minus 30 snowstorms kick our butts this bad. Well, the first half of the day went super smooth. We got most of that corral out. And I thought, you know, we're gonna get into the second corral, maybe finish that one yet today as well. But after lunch, things just took a turn for the worse. Feed wagon got stuck behind the barn. Flat tire, flat dual on the MX-285. Um, door smashed in the New Holland. That didn't really pertain to us, but it still made the day a little worse. And this afternoon, I just went and pulled the neighbors. Um, they had a feed truck come into the yard and that truck was fully loaded. They couldn't pull it out, so we went over there with the loader, spent an hour over there, so. Now it is, um, you know, in the afternoon, and it's almost three o'clock, and we're still not done that grill. It goes like that. You can expect that on a day like today, for sure. So we finished the one curl today, we're chasing out the cows for the second curl. There's a crazy amount of slop in this one. Hey. Okay. 
So that's the corral we started today. You can see there's quite a bit of sitting water in it still, and that's because all the water from this corral that we're working on now flowed into that one, which kind of sucks. You can see we got this one pretty nicely cleaned up as well. All the slop is out, now it's just the straw pack. We're done for the day. We'll get back into this corral tomorrow, finish cleaning out that straw pack, and probably finish that corral as well. I think we're at the halfway point now. Pretty exciting. It's the next day, we're back in corral number eight, and we're gonna chase the ladies out, finish this one off. We got all the slop out yesterday evening. And the ladies have come back to their straw pack for the last time. They were hanging out up here. So we're gonna slowly convince them to go off. Pretty much done cleaning out Corral 8. I have left though a big section of straw pack here. And the reason I did that is because the corral beside it, Corral 9, the straw pack in here is like two to three feet higher than it is right here. If I get rid of this, it'll be another four feet down. So you're talking six to seven feet of straw pack right there, leaning against this wall. Well, we can all see the writing on the wall there. It's just gonna push that wall right over. So we're gonna leave this straw pack here, pushing against it, clean that corral out, and then we'll come in here after and grab this last little bit. It's funny, the cows are able to look over the windbreak. That's insane. Like these are eight foot tall boards and they're just sticking their heads over. I think we should just unbolt that gate. We'll unbolt that gate. Got the gate out and we just put it up against the calf bar in there. It's been snowing for like 48 hours, only a couple hours where it stopped, but it has just been going and going and going. One of our neighbors said that he had 28 millimeters in his rain gauge of water, so I guess that's all the snow added up. Maybe that could be a little bit exaggerated due to um, blowing snow, but I'm sure it's not far off. We've had a lot of precipitation over the last couple of days and the yard is just an absolute mess. Everything's a mess right now, so. Um, I know I don't look stoked. Not gonna lie to you guys, I'm a little tired, but uh, I could not be happier right now with the precipitation that we've been getting over the last couple of days. This is the Corel feed alley. It's just, just slop. Been keeping good bedding in all the corrals. Dad's been taking care of that while we've been hauling the manure out. Working on the fifth corral right now. Once we're done that, got another four to go, so. this corral up now the four corrals that we take close-up animals out of on a weekly basis are clean and that's gonna make our lives a lot easier here we're done for the evening so we're gonna throw this gate back on 